Morning chums, welcome back. Another day, another dollar here in sunny Whitby. I think the sun might come out, but there's a load of clouds around. I'm outside uh, Witherspoons, as I call it, but it's, its proper name is Weatherspoons. So I've covered both bases there. <laughs> now, Mrs M's not here. She's, uh, she's gone back to pick up the grandkids. So she's picking up the two grandkids and our oldest daughter, and they're all coming over for a few days. They arrive tomorrow, I leave tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I'm looking after the dogs. So uh, that's it, you know, another job to do. And that sort of brings me on to Whitby a bit. I, I guess, you know, some people think that when you're living with me, it must be lovely because you do all the things that the tourists and visitors to the town do, but no, I don't. You know, you just live a normal life, don't you? Cleaning, washing up, all of that. You don't think I do that, do you? <laughs> well, I do. Yeah, do all of that type of stuff. And then when we occasionally get to go out, we like to go to our favourite places. Now, uh, 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 last night we went to Macy Brown's and uh, it's Mrs M's favourite place in Whitby. And to be honest with you, it's probably mine. It, Macy Brown's is ace. I'm going to show you where it is. I'm, I'm outside Weatherspoons at the moment. I'm going to walk you up and show you Macy Brown's. Uh, it won't be open at this time, but, but we went in last night, um, fancied a night out. It's absolutely fantastic in there. I'll tell you all about it. I've got a great video. Now, I wasn't planning to shoot a video because I've got a load of music playing in there, groovy music, background music, you know, that type of stuff. And, um, but it was so chilled out. I, I just got my phone out and I thought, we, we've got to record this. So I've done a video. I'm not sure it's going to be any good, but I'm going to show you anyway. Sorry, I hate, I hate that when people do that. I'm in a coffee in. Licking the moustache when. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. Yeah, so it was absolutely lovely. Um, they do cocktails, they do drinks, they do uh, food, burgers, tapas, all of that type of stuff. Uh, it's open most part of the day. I think it opens about 11 o'clock in the morning. Fantastic staff. Like always in Whitby, we tend to get the best staff over here. Lovely people do a great job, can't fault them. And uh, yeah, I'll show you a little bit around the place. I'll have a walk around and then I'll, I'll show you. I'll get into uh, uh, Dock End and then we'll show you uh, the balcony. You'll get the idea of where it is. It's at the end of Langdale Road, very close, up, almost opposite the train station. It's, um, yeah, as I said in the video, it's, um, it's above the public lavatories. <laughs> Anyway, as I say, it's our favourite place, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, so I'm back tomorrow. I've got a flat tyre on me. Um, I've got a little smart car for two. Um, that's got a flat tyre on it, so I've had to take that onto the garage today. My e-bike's got a flat tyre on it, so I'm going to have to repair that today. And that's what I mean when you're in Whitby, you just get on with your normal lives, you know. We occasionally get a little treat like going to Macy Brown's, and believe me, it's a great treat. So... Uh, yeah, as they say, without further ado, let's shut this off, I'll finish my coffee, I'll walk you around from Witherspoons and uh, we'll, uh, I'll show you outside of Macy Brown's and then we'll do the, the inside of Macy Brown's and we'll show you the fantastic food and drinks that they actually serve in there. So I'll see you in a minute. Hold your osses. Yeah, you can be on it if you want. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Fame at last. <laughs> Ta-da. Do you remember me telling you about him? He's this guy that sells rag mags. Uh, and they used to be a pound. Now they're three pounds. So you get, they, they go up to him and say, oh, I'm sorry, I've got no money. And he whips out a cash machine, a card machine. <laughs> He's got them every time. <coughs> Sorry, this gold's still going on. Right, let's have a look around. We're in Dock End. Here we are, we're in Dock End. Marvellous. There's the train station. 
Here's the talking litter bin. Have I shown you them? I've got to show you this, haven't I? Let's see if it works. It costs a fortune, these things. Here you go. Let's have a go. Oh, it stopped talking. Oh, what a disappointment. <laughs> what a load of rubbish. Right, the best way for me to do this I'll be to cross the road, I think, go over to the station, so it'll give you a bit more, you know, bearings on where we are. Now, as I say, this is our favourite place in Whitby. It's absolutely fantastic, you know. And value for money, I think it's one of the best places in Whitby, in my honest opinion. Homemade food, breakfast, tapas, scones, cocktails, draft beers. There's some funny people there, parking their own at me. <laughs> yeah, at least they're not shouting abuse out the, uh, out the window at me. Come on, let's get across. Right, I'm going to stand on this little island here so you can see it properly without getting uh, mowed down. And that, my friends, is Macy Brown's. Give it a go, you will not be disappointed. It's absolutely splendid. Splendid. And my daughters and my granddaughters and my wife, Mrs M, will be here probably tomorrow night, if not... What day is it today? I don't know. Is it Tuesday? Yeah, maybe Wednesday or Thursday they'll be in here. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching and let's run, uh, let's run the videotape, as I say. Macy Brown's in Whitby. Right, turn it off, Simon. Hello, my friends. Welcome to Macy Brown's in Whitby. You can see where we are at the end of Langbourne Road near the co-op and the train station. Uh, Macy's is just above the public lavatories. <laughs> but Macy's, do not let that put you off because this is one of the very best places in Whitby. It's Mrs M's favourite place. We come here all the time. She insists, I oblige. See, you can see it's a little bit quiet now, but it never stays like that. You might come in and there's always loads of people on the balcony. They like sitting on the balcony, particularly when the sun's cracking the flags. Um, but yeah, there's usually room at the inn. You can get in here. We've never, we've never come and not been able to get a table, but we are regulars. There's Mrs M. You see Lippy on the glass. That is Savignon Blanc, if you are wondering. They do one of the best value bottles of wine here in Whitby. I think there's only one place cheaper in my... Uh, memory which is weather spoons you see I said weather spoons uh, great value we normally have the Pinot Grigio blush or the Sauvignon Blanc we don't have red wine because Mrs M doesn't like it here's some new people coming in look they're going on that table next to us the guy in the red shirts not camera shy here we go hey hey <laughs> nice people we had this chat with them and, and uh, yeah they were ordering a few cocktails, we were having the full Monty, bite to eat, glass of wine, all of that type of business. Yeah, I see it's getting busier already. Ladies trying to decide what cocktail to order. Yep. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Yeah, go on then, you can have it. There's a lovely waitress. Great staff on here, honestly. I keep saying that. If I'll, t I'll tell you, if the rubbish staff, I'll tell you, but they're not the great staff. Absolutely great. Anyway, here's the menu. Um, yeah, there's a bit of something for everybody here. If you're just wanting a light bite, there's a bit of tapas. You can order one dish, three dishes, four dishes, whatever you want. I had a burger tonight at the New York Burger, uh, which was 10.95, I think. If my eyes don't deceive me, there's a lot more on the menu, but you know, I don't want to spend the rest of the video showing you uh, that's so that's just a sample of what they got on offer it's good everything's good I haven't had a bad dish here uh, my wife likes the halloumi fries but I don't like eating them because they squeak when I chew them I don't like things squeaking when I eat them oh food's arrived here we are so there's my burger bowl of chippies nice burger there you go three onion rings on top and a bowl of coleslaw mrs m's gone for the whitby scampi portion of fries and she loves these cheesy nachos they've got chili jam on them now you know when sometimes you get nachos 
and it's just a bowl of nachos and a sprinkling of cheese, not much else on them. Not here, my friends. Oh, no. These are absolutely packed jam, chilli jam, cheese, the lot, all laid in, cooked to perfection all the way through. In other words, the nachos at the bottom are not all, you know, just straight out the bag. They're being cooked properly. Hey, up, Mrs M's in for the chips. I said, go on, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute, love. But she can't help herself, honestly. Look at the size of that portion of those nachos. Mrs M likes a big portion, to be honest with you, so she's happy with that. <laughs> I'm in trouble again. <laughs> There's my burger. You see, I've eaten one of the onion rings already. Nice, uh, m nice bap. Uh, onion, tomato, lettuce, a thick slice of properly cooked bacon. There's no fatty bits on that. And a lovely burger pate. Not pate, pate. Underneath. Mrs M's digging into them already. Look, she couldn't resist. Oh my, but your mouth's watering, isn't it? Hey, look at them. Oh, oh, oh. I told her we're going to share them, but I'm not. I'm, I'm going to leave them all to her. She can eat them. So, yeah, lovely burger. Big, big, almost too big to get your, uh, your chops around, but anyway, I managed. Right, where are we going now? We're going to have a look around somewhere else, Simon. I don't know. Oh, where we are, yes. Oh, look, I finished. Wallet mine, but I left my chippies, but I have my coleslaw. Bottle of wine. So, how much did it cost, Simon? I hear you say it cost us £53 for all that food and two bottles of Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, yes, two bottles, bit greedy, but hey ho, hey ho. £53. Now, if that ain't good value, I don't know what is for all that grub, but you can come in, have a bottle of wine, have a couple of tapas, it'll cost you next to nothing. Honestly, this place is fantastic. So, if you're ever in Whitby, don't pass it by give it a go i think you'll absolutely love it that's it chums thanks for watching and uh, yeah we'll see you next time you keep well chin chin